This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2006 Ford F-250. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. Um, obviously a long bed. Has very low miles, 136,990 miles. It was a salvage title theft recovery purchased directly from State Farm Insurance in Denver, Colorado. Um, they give them salvage titles, even when they're not wrecked, when they're fine. Uh, because they don't want to be held responsible for anything that happens to the person who buys it from us. Obviously, State Farm has more money than, uh, than uh, Crosscut, and so a good lawyer may say, well, you sold it on a clean title to Crosscut, which implies some sort of warranty, and you have more money than Crosscut, so we want some of that. That's how you end up with salvage titles on a lot of really nice vehicles. In fact, they tend to give salvage titles to the vehicles that are more expensive and in better shape than the other ones because they need a little bit more money for some of the troubled vehicles so they'll give them a clean title and cross their fingers on vehicles like this they don't need to because they know there's a huge demand for them so they get the liability done away with with a uh, piece of paper okay so uh, when I go on my drive with you I will tell you how we get a uh, salvage title to be drivable um, to get a restored salvage title, to issue you plates, and for you to be able to get insurance. It's very simple. Anyway, I'm gonna walk around the vehicle, I'll tell you what's going on here. First of all, they damaged the, the ignition so bad we had to buy another column for it. So we had a column uh, installed, and that came with a key, which we also had to fix the door handle and put a new lock cylinder in it, so the key and the ignition and everything match up. And so we did that. Let's see what else we do, I got my notes here. We had to do a uh, uh, alternator pigtail and repaired wiring to the ignition. We had to do an alternator and we had to do two interstate batteries. That's it. Um, other than that, we just sent it to detail. And this is my first time I've ever put a big truck in the garage. It's uh, officially today, it's like the hot day. We're, we're gonna go on a run of 100 degree days. So I wanna start doing these inside cause I got the swamp coolers going. And uh, so I sprayed out the garage and cleaned it up a little bit and it's way easier to talk when I'm not baking you know so anyway that's why I'm out here <laughs> uh, in here I mean because I don't feel like dying today it's freaking hot it's not so hot it's like 103 but uh, I'm not getting any younger and I'm kind of sick of baking so this is my plan clean this thing up and do your videos inside I'll open the door and we'll just drive around the door all right Anyway, it's a black truck, so it's gonna have black truck issues, you know, paint-wise, um, little stuff. It was white, you'd never notice it, but it's black, so you notice, simple as that. Uh, so I suggest going over the photos really carefully if you really care about um, cosmetics. It's a pretty truck, but it's black, so it's gonna show everything, all right? There's some touch-up on the hood, a little touch-up here, just little things here and there, you know? Um, before we continue, I'm gonna, show you some of the paperwork we have here first of all this is the uh, monsoon uh, uh, invoice there'll be a link for this in the ad um, so you just click on it if you want but there's your VIN 136 990 on the miles steering column repair wires for ignition and alternator new alternator two new batteries uh, 945 bucks okay this is the Kelly Blue Book for the truck XLT 136,600 4x4 Typical listing price is $17,665. That seems really low to me, but I'm just reporting the news because, man, I don't know if I could buy this truck at the auction on a clear title for that for sure. Um, here's your auto check. We'll have an auto check link. It's a vehicle history link. We'll have it in the ad. You can look at it. So it was in Arizona all the way up to, it looks like, purchased 2018 in Colorado. So it was. that's why we don't have a rust problem, by the way, because it was in Colorado until 2018 and denver really doesn't get that they don't use a whole lot of salt there so that's why it looks so good underneath i always get concerned when i buy vehicles from there but there'll be plenty of undercarriage photos you can look for yourself uh there's your theft boom right there okay and the autos all go in the correct direction which is up ba -ba 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 -ba. Nice neighborhood, Rancho Cucamonga, and then it was in Mesa, Arizona, Apache Junction. Couldn't get drier than that. That's as dry as you get. 
Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we moved to Denver, it looks like, uh, well, no, actually it doesn't, because it looks like maybe, yeah, I guess maybe in 15, 18, somewhere in there. I know, read it for yourself. <laughs> that way, you don't have to listen to me, you can just read it, okay? Here's the actual title from State Farm. There's your VIN, State Farm, Salvage. That's the title they signed over to us, okay? All right, here's your bed. Had a nasty bed liner in it, so I just took it out. It was gross. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know what they spilled in it, but it was nasty. Rear bumper has this ding in it. Parking sensors don't work. I suspect this parking sensor is broken, but to put a new one in, you'd have to buy a new bumper. We're trying to keep the price down. We're not trying to make the price higher than it than uh, it could be uh, a new bumper and a sensor it's like it's probably $500 I don't think anybody's gonna care um, rear view mirrors are cool you can see behind you you can turn around and look like we used to do <laughs> all kinds of things to defeat backing into stuff knowing how to drive that would do it all right all right so we've got there's your lock Unlock, boom. All right, let me fire this guy up. I'm gonna open the door too here in a second. All right. Hundred and thirty-seven thousand and twelve miles now. Okay. Little touch up right here on the hood too. All right. Let's see. First of all, we have a Ford stamp here, so we have an original fender, Ford stamp on the core support, new interstate battery here, new interstate battery here, Ford stamp there, Ford stamp there, and Ford stamp right there. Okay. That's a beautiful thing. There's no blow by at all. Okay. Let's see. Door locks. Manual seats in great condition. When you're looking for rust, always look on the very bottom of the door in the rocker moldings on the front doors, especially on the driver door. So I'll be pulling that, ah, uh, oh crap. And that is why I leave the driver door open when I'm doing these videos, because I tend to lock myself out. I also forget to uh, unlock the windows, put the window lock on, I do that a lot too. All right, there's your window up and down. The tint's really dark in here. Your state may require you to, uh, to to take that tin off, but we'll leave it on for you. You can make that call. Super dark. When I was backing up in here, I had to open the doors because I couldn't see it was so dark. So nighttime driving, I think you probably should take that tin off, but it's your truck and you can do what you want with it, right? Unless the government takes control of it, then you can't. Um, all right, nothing. Yeah, see, there's nothing going on here. This is a really nice truck. Window, let's see, window. Like Door locks. Okay. Mirror out, in, up, and down. Other side, out, in, up, down. Seat's in nice shape, a little bit of rough. Someone's already repaired it here at one point. They always break right here, the uh, stitching. There's your tilt wheel. Let's see, power pedal switch, no bueno. Not working, which I don't know. I never understood that one either, by the way. That is the most annoying thing ever. Let me turn some headlights and some, uh, let's see, make sure my doors aren't locked. Make sure the headlights, there's a blinker. Blinker, headlight. Blinker. 
boom, boom, boom. Yeah, power pedals. Like, we're gonna have dwarfs get in the truck. Sorry if you're a dwarf, I'm not very PC. So hate me, not concerned. All right, there we go, lights work fine. Let's see, Let me turn these lights off. Boom, boom, there we go. Open up the door. There it is. Let's roll. Seatbelt on. Now hurry up and buy this thing because that truck was online for 10 minutes when it sold. So it doesn't take long at all. Like really doesn't take long at all. So, all right. Now, Make sure I don't take the side of the truck off. That's why I tuck the mirror in so that I don't. All right. Boom. All righty then. And boy, it is hard to find these. We used to have, oh God, a minimum of 10 six O's out here. We get them and they sell in five minutes, so. Like I said, I'm serious about being on these things because if you're not, you're gonna regret it. All right, let's get some AC going here because it's hot. And I do enjoy the AC in this thing. I drove across town the other day from uh, Monsoon and loved it. All right, go to four low. There's driving four low. Reversing four low. All right, neutral. Go to four high. All right, now we're in four high. Boom, that's drive. In reverse. Neutral. Back to two wheel drive. All right. Let's go. Oh, wait, here's the trailer lights. Boom. It says check trailer because we don't have one. When you do that, they don't like it. So turn that down so you can hear me. You gotta. Windstorm going in here. All right, let's see. Got to make sure the gate stays open. It was starting to close there. All right. All right. So here's where I tell you how this works. If you're going to come to Tucson and drive it home, you're going to pay the following. You're going to pay your state tax plus our city tax of 2.7%. But we also need plates and insurance. Plates can only be gotten with a restored salvage title. We take it to the cops, get what's called a level three inspection done. With that level three inspection, we can take the current salvage title and the inspection, the, the Arizona MBD, and get a restored salvage title. We charge $200 to do that inspecting, inspection, and we have a $250 dock fee. So if you come here to drive it home, it's your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7, uh, $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship the truck out of state, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing, okay? Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name, sign it off to you, and uh, mail you the title off. Um, if you want us to restore the title, um, we'll add $200 to the price, let us know at the time of purchase before it ships out, and we'll get it done, okay? Um, it's about a week lag time between the time you buy it and we can get an appointment. Uh, we have a lot of pull there. Some people are waiting months, but we only wait like a week at the most. But uh, anyway, uh, if you need help with shipping, let us know early in the transaction. I'm very good at it. Um, we can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle, so you just pay one time instead of for the truck and for shipping, right? Um, you're welcome to do it yourself if you know how to do it. Um, not too tough to do it, but knowing how these guys operate in their paths and stuff, is helpful anyway uh deposits five hundred dollars once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale so make sure you get your deposit in uh, by the way i'm a little this thing runs really really well and it has a cat so catalytic converter so i suspect that for some reason someone tuned it even though 
it has a cat and it has its, all its stuff for emissions. It has, a, I mean, but it runs really, really strong. Um, almost a little too strong, but we don't have a tuner in it. We're suspecting, I suspect, because I've driven so many of these things that it has a tune. Anyway, um, get your deposit in. All right, the $500 deposit um, will take it off the, off the market and you'll be able to, uh, to uh, pay for it you know, as soon as you can get your money together in the next day or two. But uh, we don't hold vehicles uh, for people. They have to put a deposit down, all right? Especially 6.0s. People would be bonkers for this vehicle, okay? Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I will for this one, uh, like I do for the thousands before. We don't have sales, but we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge where we hang out, you know, and, and eat while they're servicing our vehicle. That's at the auto mall. We don't have that. Um, so we don't have the bills that they have. They don't, we don't have to pay salesmen or attendants to serve scones and lattes. We don't have that crap. Um, so we can save you money on that. The title saves you a lot of money on this one. Um, and uh, one other thing, at the auto mall, when you buy a vehicle from them, they you know, charge you 20 something thousand dollars for this truck. If this truck was at the auto mall, this would definitely be in the 20s. 21, 22, maybe a little more. Um, we will charge you a fraction of that a, because of the title, and B, because we don't have the overhead they have, okay? They also know that if they sold this thing to you for 23 grand and something broke, you're gonna say, damn right, you're gonna fix my truck. I just paid a fortune for this thing, which is true. Uh, what you don't know is that they put about 500 to $800 into every vehicle uh, when they sell it to you for future repairs. They just build that in. So they've already paid for the repairs. If you show up, then they're like, yeah, fix it, right? We don't do that. We let you have the money up front, which means, that when your vehicle breaks, and every vehicle on this planet will break, uh, regardless of when, you will be fixing your vehicle with your money, okay? That's the tough love part of it. The good part of it is it's a hell of a good running truck. Really nice running truck. Um, you know, uh, if you're you know, concerned about cosmetics, pour over the photos. Uh, there's no secrets here. Um, auto checks there, titles there, the invoices are there, everything's there, okay? Anyway, these videos have to end at 17 minutes and 38 seconds. I have no idea why that's such a random number, but we've learned that over the years and that's why they cut us off. So I'm just gonna pull in here and park it so that my brother can take photos of it. And uh, that'll be that. We're almost at 1738.